Curious when the housing market will crash, specifically in Florida, and even more specifically right here in Sarasota and Manatee counties? Well, did you know that when will the housing market crash is actually one of the most Googled topics today? So are you all just waiting around out there believing that you'll be able to time the market and get a great deal? If so, then you need to stick around for today's video because we are diving into this hot topic. Let's get started. First, I am Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Expert. Now, my team and I love helping people buy, sell, and invest in real estate in Sarasota, Manatee counties. Give us a call today and let us know how we can help. Okay, let's get right into the housing market because I think it's apparent that everyone believes we're heading into a crash. Another thing that is apparent is that every person has an opinion and the worst case scenarios and the bigger the devastation, the more people seem to enjoy reading and listening about. Now that said, let's get into some actual data. Anytime we have uncertainty in the economy, which we do right now with inflation, rising interest rates, it obviously makes consumer confidence waver. Everyone seems to worry about the bottom falling out. Now buying a home is stressful. Moving is stressful. Losing money if you overspend or spending more money on a home than what you're comfortable with, that's really stressful. So I'm gonna tell you when the best time to buy or sell is. Here is how to know exactly when you should make a move. And that is when it is right for you and only you. Now, if you're moving to a new city for a job and you need a home and you can afford it, it's a great time to buy. Of course, you need to shop around a little bit or it's a great time to sell if you're downsizing and no longer need to take care of a large home and you want to have more free time and do other activities. It's also a great time to buy or sell if you're going through some major life changes such as marriage, expanding your family or you're becoming an empty nester or divorces there's a lot of reasons why people move buying or selling a home only because you think it's the best market for you it only works if you're one of those people that don't really need the home now if you own multiple homes you're a savvy investor perhaps you want to add real estate to your portfolio these are all different scenarios and i understand the importance of timing the market and i do agree with you make your money when you buy so the market is incredibly important but trying to time it for normal day-to-day -day life is very very hard to do. That said, let's figure out when and if this market is going to crash. Now, according to US News, it is unlikely that a crash is near. Based on current market conditions, housing demand, housing supply, mortgage interest rates, and unemployment, all these things play a major role in the real estate world. And currently, they indicate slowing down, but not a decline, and definitely nothing significant as what we saw during the housing crash of 2008 and 2009. But are we in a housing bubble? With the rapid growth of housing market that has lasted over the past two years, we can describe the housing market as definitely being a bubble. Anytime an asset grows this much this fast, it is considered a bubble. However, not all bubbles explode or burst with such significance. What we are seeing now is definitely letting some air out of this bubble. The low supply of inventory remains so low compared to our demand. The average price of homes has not declined significantly significantly at this time. Now, the appreciation or growth has stopped, and if you are seeing price drops many times, and I hate to say this, this is a little bit of a direct correlation to over-aggressive sellers and some agents still believing that they can add value to the home compared to what we saw before. So if a neighbor's home sold for, let's say, 600,000 three months ago, you cannot add another 25 or $30,000. And unfortunately, we're seeing that, and now they're backing off those prices. So that's a big reason why we are seeing a lot of price drops. Also, a lot of the inventory that is currently on the market, almost 25% of the inventory now listed is new construction. We did not have those numbers in the past two years. And so this significantly is changing the amount of inventory as well. Now, can you find a home today? Most likely, if you are patient and have time, you will definitely find a home. We do have more inventory. So let's look at some of the market stats for here in Sarasota Manatee counties over the past month. In July, 1,812 homes did sell. And that's amongst single family 
multifamily and condos. That number was down 22% from July of 2021. However, I think it's a little unfair to even compare it to 2021. As we all know, that was a crazy, crazy record setting year with the low interest rates and what we were facing. So 1,812 homes sold in July is very typical for us. We do look back on 2018, 19, and really can compare it a little bit. And you can see on these graphs that I'm showing what is normal for us here. For instance, right now also, I don't think this is very normal, that our time to contract, it's only nine days. At its peak, we were down to five days, and now it's nine days. So that is a short time. Our inventory is definitely growing. Currently, we have 4,395 properties on the market. One thing to note here with that statistic is that I was doing some research on this and 25% of the homes under this category are new construction. Now, prior to the last couple of months, builders were not putting their listings on the MLS. And so that is another reason why our inventory is growing significantly. Now in a normal market, again, you can see here on this graph that we should have five, 6,000 homes on the market easily. So we're still not at that we're gonna crash moment. So just like we didn't know when we were at the height of the market, we're not going to know when we're at the bottom until we're there. Unfortunately, real estate a lot of times is in hindsight. Now let's talk a little bit about the average sale price. The average home sold here in Sarasota, Manatee County sold for 622,000. That number a year ago was 523,000. So we've had significant growth over the tw last 12 months. Again, I think that number is going to start going down well actually it's already started going down a little bit from last month but I think it's definitely gonna level off are we gonna get back down to 2019 prices I really don't think so I'm not predicting a crash at this time even though I know a lot of people are talking about that there's so many things to take into account when a crash happens as we were talking about earlier it has to do with jobs it has to do with interest rates now if we see a high level of layoffs throughout the corporate world we definitely could be facing a crisis here or a crash coming up. One other statistic that I definitely want to share with everyone is our distressed sales statistics. Now this is the number of homes that were sold either through a short sale or a foreclosure. And currently here in Sarasota Manatee counties in the month of July, the total for both of them combined were four. A total of four homes in Sarasota Manatee County were either foreclosure or short sale. So you can see we are a long way from a crash happening right now you know where people are turning their homes back over to the banks or not able to make their mortgage payments another statistic to keep in mind is that here in Sarasota and Manatee counties we have the second largest number of cash purchases in the state of Florida just behind Naples so we have between 40 and 45 percent of all of our buyers in the last two years were cash buyers so there's a lot of equity in these homes right now so we're a little bit away from a crash that's for sure I'm not saying the market has not shifted or changing or that we may experience some major downturn. I think we're all going through another shift just as we did a couple years ago when the pandemic started. So that's one thing about real estate, it never stays the same. Our job is to really know what the market is doing and knowing what the best price and how to sell your home for top dollar. So if you'd like more information about the Sarasota housing market, if we can be of any help, we would love to hear from you. Give us a call today. And if you find this information helpful, we'd love it if you would subscribe, leave messages and, and just give us a call. As always, I really appreciate you watching and until next time, take care.